morning everyone this is Denise with Simply Love Soaps and today we are going to be doing a restock on my um, philosophy dupe for their uh, Pure Grace. The first time I made the soap I made it in memory of my mom. I'm still making this soap in memory of my mom. I lost my mom almost three years ago to cancer and um, so I just, you know, want to just keep it up and make it in memory. I am using Be Scented's Pure Grace by Philosophy Type. I'm going to do the main base in white. I am going to be adding a little bit of gold dust biodegradable glitter. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a gold mica. And then on top... I am going to be adding these really pretty sugar crystals. So, let's start having a little fun. I'm going to start mixing up some of this. I am going to hand stir the fragrance. Um, this has accelerated on me before and it was almost like a plop and drop. So, but you know, that's like most florals anyway. So, I'm just mixing in my clays. I'm just mix in my titanium dioxide. And some goat milk powder. Just enough to add a little pretty sparkle. solution of this gold going in. I just want it kind of light and whispery in there. And this one we are going to add the 14 karat gold. And a little more of the gold dust. I'm going to 
going to hand start this in. So I'm trying not to get this super thick so that way when the fragrance oil starts to accelerate, I will still be able to get, you know, some kind of a pretty swirl in there. I'm making a mess. Look at me already. Haven't even gotten it in the pot and I'm making a mess. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. 14 karat gold by Be Scented is one of my favorite colors. I love using this color with their uh, dark chocolate. Okay, so now we're going to incorporate the fragrance oil. Now when I use a gold, like the 14 karat gold or anything else, I don't put the fragrance oil in the gold color. It tends to, to me anyway, tends to change the coloring just a smidge. And I think that for what I'm wanting I just need the the gold to stay the same and I like this color of a gold when it cures out. Just stirring that in and see it's already thickening up. So I want to go ahead and get this in the pot. I'm thinking maybe I should do an in the pot swirl. I hope you can see this. I'm just kind of doing it off to the side. I'm going to save a little bit of that. No, I'm going to just use those crystals on top. So, move that out of the way. Get this poured in because it is starting to get thick. Open up the container. Get all that goodness in there. At least it'll be a perfect consistency for texturing the top. I think I'm going to also add, because the last time I made it, I added some white sugar pearls to the top as well. So I think I may do that. It's actually kind of 
kind of heating up a bit. Well, let's see if I can grab a chopstick. Not a chopstick, but a popsicle stick to work on those sides. Okay. So, we are going to texture the top. There we go. Grab another paper towel. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and add just a few sugar pearls here and there. Not many as needed, just to kind of pretty it up a little bit. I did not want that. Let's add some pretty gold. All right, guys, this is the making or restock of Pure Grace. I hope you liked it. And, um, I will bring you guys back tomorrow for the cut. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. Good morning everyone. This is Denise Adred. Today we are going to be cutting Pure Grace that I made in memory of my mom. Um, it did really well. I did tear it a little bit getting it out of the mold. But I should be able to fix that. We're going to turn it on its side. And there we go. That's the little swirl. Very light. Very faint. That's the top. Very nice. I hope y'all are having a great day. I've gotten a lot done. So I'm stoked about that. How pretty is that top? I think that's very pretty. Very chic. Let me grab my paper towel. I'm not wearing gloves today. My hands are, have been irritated, and um, but I do spray my hands down right before I start touching the soap and stuff. I do spray my hands down with hand sanitizer and alcohol. Just to be on the safe side. Very pretty. I'm glad I added the sugar pearls to the top. I had it on the last batch and I was thinking about not putting them, putting them on this one, but I'm glad I changed my mind at the last minute and added them. I think they're just a nice little pop of white 
let's see maybe you can see the gold flakes I'm not sure but hopefully and then this is a sample piece and there we go that is the cutting for pure grace thank you so much for watching guys god bless